fiery horse with the speed of light, a cloud of dust, and a hearty hi silver, the Lone Ranger. When the days of the open range passed, during the early years of the western United States, the questions of boundary lines and water rights led to many bitter disputes among the ranchers. At times, whole counties were divided into armed camps. The masked rider of the plains did his best to end these range wars by peaceful means, if possible, by the force of his great strength and courage when necessary. It was he, more than any other man, who brought law and order to the lawless frontier. Return with us now to those thrilling days when the West was young. From out of the past come the thundering hoof beats of the great horse Silver. The Lone Ranger rides again. Come on, Silver! We're heading for Spring Valley! There's going to be trouble! Hey, old Silver! Away! <laughs> Three men and a girl were seated in the living room of the Rocking H Ranch House. Ben Healy, who owned the ranch, his daughter Judith, Tom Jackson, who Circle J spread adjoined the Rocking H, and Clint, Tom's son. Ben had been listening to his neighbor for some time, but finally he shook his head impatiently and interrupted with... Now, Tom, why don't you try and see it my way? I'm a peaceable man. Take my business to meddle in nobody's fight. If you and Buck Shannon can't get along, that's your affair. I don't know why I should take sides. Oh, Father, can't you see what it'll mean if you don't? All Mr. Jackson wants you to do Judy, is... you hush. I'll handle this. But uh, I don't... Thanks, Miss Judith, but your father's right. He'll have to decide this for himself. Ben, tell me something. Yeah? Do you really think that if Shannon and the Lazy Bee win this fight, they'll let you alone afterwards? They ain't harm me yet. And you don't understand why? Huh? There's just one reason... I'm in the way. I have the only outfit powerful enough to oppose them. They'd get nowhere bullying the smaller ranchers of the district as long as I remain. So, Shannon's after me. Once I'm beaten, he can handle the rest of you in any manner he pleases. And Mr. Healy, don't you think for a minute he won't make you jump to the crack of his whip? You and your pa say it, Clint. But I ain't seen nothing to prove it'll have to be so. But blasted Quiet, all the... son. Well, Ben... I take it, then, that you won't declare yourself on our side. Doggone it, Tom. Even if I did, what good would it do you? What use should my small outfit be? You should know that without my telling you. I ain't got but a couple of men. But you own the approach to the crossing. Just the same. I'll admit I was short-sighted. I should have purchased that land before you settled here. In any event, the fact remains that none of us on this side of the Yellow River can send a herd down the trail without getting permission to cross your property. I ever tell anybody they couldn't? No, and under ordinary circumstances, I certainly would advise you to. But things are different. Yeah? There's no law enforcement in this district, but Shannon has influence at the Capitol. As things stand, 
He could easily put me in the wrong if this should develop into a full-fledged range war. He couldn't, however, if it could be shown clearly that he'd stepped outside the law. How do you mean? If you refuse him passage across your land, he'd be bottled up. To reach the market, he'd have to make his way across by force. You'd be within your rights to deny him passage. And if the war turned upon that point, Shannon couldn't possibly vindicate himself. Well, I won't do it. Well, I'm afraid you wouldn't. Live and let live is my motto, Tom. You want to ford the river by crossing my land, you're welcome. But so's Buck Shannon, and so's anybody else. Nobody can get mad at me for that. And I don't mean to get nobody mad. Is that your final decision, Ben? Uh-huh. Hope it don't mean we can't stay friends, though. <laughs> of course we're friends. I'm just sorry we can't seem to get together on this. Come, Clint. Be right with you, Dad. Going to the dance with me Saturday, Judy? <laughs> I wouldn't miss it. Fine. Bye, folks. Bye. Goodbye, Bye, Clint. Ben. Goodbye, Tom. Judy. I'm ashamed of you. Huh? What's that, honey? You're afraid to side with the Circle J, that's all. You know just as well as I do that Buck Shannon's nothing but a crook. Hey, don't you talk like that. I know. Don't you go to calling nobody a crook. It ain't safe. If Buck was to hear that, no telling what he'd do. You are afraid. Judy, you look here. Well? Don't you savvy what a bad fix your paw is in? You're going so soft on young Clint, you can't see what'd happen uh, if I was to side with his paw? I can see they're right and Shannon's wrong. What else is there to see? That I'm just a small rancher caught between two outfits that could gobble me up in a second if they was a mind to. When you're in that kind of fix, you have to walk soft and keep friends with everybody. Look, Judy, just between you and me, I ain't got no more use for Shannon than you have. But I sure ain't going to let him find it out. And if he wins? Then I'll just make the best of it, like any man of sense would do. Now, why don't oh, you... Oh, don't, see... don't talk to me. What? I don't want you to act like a coward. I want you to fight for what you know is right. Well, don't go. <laughs> Several weeks, the district was quiet. The Circle J took advantage of the lull in hostilities to get on with his fall roundup. Cutting out two- and three-year-old steers to form a herd that would soon be sent down the trail to the distant railhead. But one day, when the roundup was almost completed, two horsemen reined in their mounts behind a cluster of willows on a nearby hill. They watched the Circle J crew at work for several minutes. Then... Looks to me like it's just about finished, Buck. Yeah. Well, what are you going to do? Let Jackson take that herd out? Let him sell it and get his hands on that much more cash to fight you with? Or you got other plans? I'll think of something. <laughs> You'd better. Scared I won't? Well, I... Got a notion I can't handle this, have you? Now, Buck, no need to get mad. All I was doing was pointing out that we'd better get a hustle on Don't point out what I can see for myself. Nice-looking bunch of steers, eh? Yeah. What did Healy say yesterday when you called on him? Nothing. Huh? Nothing but what he's been saying, the yellow idiot. Won't take sides. Won't do nothing till he sees which way things are going. Wants to play safe. If I didn't have to pretend to be friendly, I'd slap his ears down for him. When I've took care of the Circle J, I will. I'll help you. Won't need no help. Yeah, come on, we've seen all there is to see. Let's head back. Yeah. Get up, boy. Come on, get up. Get, get up. on there. Buck. Eh? Huh? Why waste time trying to argue Healy into stopping Jackson from crossing his land? Why not just pick a fight with that Circle J bunch and blast it out? Make it short and sweet. Quit all this fooling, come right out in the open. It ain't like we had the law to worry about. Maybe we will. Then the sooner we get at it, the better. There's just one trouble. Yeah? Maybe if we started a fight, we wouldn't come out on top. Huh? Why, we'd handle them gents like nothing. Then Healy don't think so. What do you mean? I told you. Marking time to see which side is strongest. Us or the Circle J. I know that, hombre. If he was sure we'd win, he'd be with us like a flash. What's he know about it? Plenty. But I tell you... If I had enough gun hands riding for me so I could be sure we'd top them fellas in a fight... Well, if I did, then there'd be no need to fight. I don't savvy. Healy would throw in with us. Keep Jackson from crossing the river. Jackson wouldn't get his steers to market. That'd be his finish. Well, if it's gun hands you want, why don't you go out and hire him? I tried. Huh? When? Last week when I rode over to Spring Valley. I talked to the ace of them all. 
I offered him and his pards triple wages to hire on. Who? Spur Weaver. And he turned you down? I don't know. Huh? He just acted like he wasn't interested. Said he'd think it over. Said maybe he'd be along, maybe he wouldn't. Doggone, Buck, if we had them fellas on our side, it'd be a cinch. It'd be a cinch even if we didn't have nobody but Spur. I know. Why, that hombre's faster with his irons than grease lightning and shoot... I heard one time he took on three fellas to once and drilled them all dead center. That's why I wanted him. But you don't think he'll show up, I'm huh? afraid he won't. All he said was he... Well, I'll be... Oh, boy. Oh, that. Oh, oh. oh yeah. Buck, what's the matter? Spur. I've been waiting for you. You were in there when I seen you. What do you want? I've talked to the boys. Pay the wages you promised and wear your men. Doggone. Mister, it's a deal. Any orders? You free to take a short ride? Sure. Where to? Ben Healy's. Come on. Get up. Get up. Get up. Get up. Get up. A few minutes later, the Lone Ranger raced into the camp where Tonto was waiting for him. Oh, hold this, Obert. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. Hip. Tonto. What's the matter? Here, take my mask. Huh? I want to disguise. There's not a minute to waste. And what we do? When I followed Spur, he met Buck Shannon. Uh-huh. And now's our chance to force Ben Healy to take Tom Jackson's side, whether he wants to or not. Quickly, Tonto. Buck's riding there now. When Judith Healy noticed the approach of two strange riders on two of the finest horses she had ever seen... She called to Ben. Father. Call me, honey. Father, come here. I want you to see something. Yeah? Oh, 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 oh. Look at those horses. Gee, beauties, ain't they? Where do you suppose a redskin get hold of a critter like that paint? But look at that white. In the gram? Never seen another to compare. Wonder what they want. Come in. Ben. What? Is this your daughter? Yeah. And you and your daughter get out of sight quickly. The kitchen will do. Hurry. What's wrong? Do as I've told you. I don't... Look here, mister. I don't know who you are, why you're here, what's on your mind. But before I take anybody's orders in my own house, I aim to know the reason for them. There's no time to explain. Will you do as I say? I told you I won't do anything unless I know why. Very well. Tonto, uh-huh. into the kitchen with him. Close the door after you. Whatever happens, don't let them call out. Uh, why? Hold it. Don't shoot. Take his gun, Tonto. Let me get him. Now then, miss, your father will come to no harm unless he himself causes trouble. Remember that. And don't fear this is a holdup. It isn't. Nothing will be taken. Now get going. You go. You'll pay for this, mister. Once he doesn't break loose, Tonto. Uh, let me watch him. Come in. Howdy, Ben. Uh, I Ben. thought it was at first. Who are you, mister? That's a question I'm not answering. You hear that, Buck? Shut what up. Out? <laughs> the Bens took the hiring fellas dodging the law, huh? Well, I ain't curious. Where's Ben? He can't talk to you now. Oh, out, huh? Well, that's too bad. I've got news I think will interest him. You have, huh? Yeah. Your boss has been wondering which side it'd be safest for him to throw in with, mine or Jackson's. <laughs> well, you can tell him it'd better be mine. Just hired some new men. Won't be long till we've made it so hot for that Circle J bunch around here, they'll be only too doggone glad to pull stake and Hightail. This one of your new men? Yes, yeah, Spur? Oh, yeah. Spur, meet up with the... What'd you say your handle was? I didn't say. Oh, yeah, that's right, you didn't, did you? Well, reckon you heard of Spur Weaver, huh? I think so. Well, ain't nobody around here going to go up again me with him on my side. You're mistaken. Yeah? I have news for you. News? Well, not news exactly. An order. Take your friends, get off this place, and stay off. Hey, what you are you don't come back. You're telling us to famos? Right. But that means Ben's joined up with Jackson. It sounds that way. Why, the fool it out. One thing more. Huh? I understand you're getting a herd ready to hit the trail. Well, Jackson's herd is crossing this land, but yours isn't. There's no other way to ford the river. Exactly. Wait a second, wait a second. Mister, do you savvy what this means? You know what's going to happen if your boss tries to stop us? I think I do. It means fight. I'll blast Ben Healy right off this range. You might start with me. Huh? You're three to my one, and Spur Weaver's with you. I understand he's fast with his guns. He's the fastest... So if you want trouble, start it. 
The curtain falls on the first act of our Lone Ranger drama. Before the next exciting scenes, please permit us to pause for just a few moments. to continue our story. When the Lone Ranger dared Buck Shannon to start something, the rancher did not hesitate. Did you hear that, Spur? I heard it. Plug him. You... Anybody else? Why? No, you you don't. No, my hand. Slap on the butt. You're next. I'll have you postponed blasting me off this range. I I ain't drawed. Get out. My hand smashed. You're not hurt. On your way. You too, Spur. Mister? Well... You're the first fellow ever to outdraw me. So? I never let a score get by without I even it. That's something for you to remember. I will. Now get moving. I'm giving you exactly 30 seconds to hit leather and make tracks. Come on, men. Stranger, you tell Ben he chose which side he was on. It ain't gonna do him one bit of good to come crawling around later and try and beg off. All right, Hunter. All gone, you stranger. I heard you. I heard everything went on in here. I know what you've gone and done. You fixed it so I have to side Jackson. You can't sit on the fence any longer, Ben. You're in this fight whether you like it or not. Are you a friend of the Jacksons? I want them to win. Then I'm glad you did it. I'm glad Buck Shannon thinks Pa's against him. Ben. Well? I wonder if you're as sorry this happened as you believe you are right now. Huh? What do you mean? You're no crook. I doubt that you have any sympathy for Buck Shannon and his kind. And I'm willing to wager you're glad you've been forced to the other side. Stranger? Yes? You know, I think I am. Ranger returned with Tonto to their camp and removed his disguise. Yeah, the stain all off, Kimosabi? Uh-huh. Then hand me my mask. Uh-huh. Here, mask. Good. Uh, now what do? That depends on Buck Shannon, Tonto. The next move is up to him. There's one thing we must remember. He's still a long ways from losing this fight. Mm. The fact that Ben is now definitely on Jackson's side doesn't change the odds if it comes to a battle. Especially now that we know Shannon's hired Spur Weaver and his gang of gun hands. Not right. We've accomplished something, but it isn't enough. We put Spur in a position where he'll be outside the law if he attempts to take his trail herd to the crossing without Ben's permission. Ah. Uh. That will cancel any influence Shannon has at the Capitol. As it was before, even if Jackson won the fight, Shannon could claim he'd been within his rights. That'll be impossible now. You think him fight? He has to. Oh. Uh. Shannon can't remain bottled up on this side of the river. The fight will come when he attempts to send his herd across Ben's land. Uh Ah. That's why I say the next move is up to him. He won't force the issue until he's almost certain he'll win. Not right. And you can be sure of one thing, Tata. What's that? Whichever side comes out on top, there'll be no second battle. If Jackson loses, he'll find every man on his payroll has left him. Uh Ah. And the same goes for Shannon. That's why we'll have our work cut out for us. What do you mean? Shannon knows the importance of victory just as well as we do. He can choose the time and the place for the fight to suit himself. Ah. Yet, in spite of that, it's up to us to see that Jackson wins. Buck Shannon was fully aware that when he ordered his trail herd driven across Ben's land, it must be at a time when his men would meet little opposition. He waited for more than a week. Then early one morning, as he was saddling a horse in the corral, his foreman raced toward him. Steady there. Hi, boss. Hi. Whoa, 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 fella. Whoa. Boss. Well? I've been watching the circle, Jay, just like you told me. Jackson sent out his trail herd last Saturday, and most of his crew went along. 
Right now, they're three days beyond the river. Now's your time. Push your herd across Ben's range. Them fellas are so far away for Jackson to send from, and if he did, they couldn't get back in time. I thunder... Jackson ain't got more than a half a dozen hands left on his place, and Ben's only got two. Ain't enough to hold us up long enough to get us up an appetite. We shove them aside like they weren't there. Right. Shall I tell the boys? As quick as you can. I want that herd in the trail by noon. Get him! Get him! Get him! Where did you get your breath back? Then tell me. There's no time. Uh-huh. Buck's trailhead. It's on the way. All his men are with it. They're going to try to reach the river. By crossing my land? Yes. Where are they now? Almost to the boundary. You see Tom or Clint Jackson? You see anybody that could help us? There wasn't time, Pa. I had to hurry, so then I... run over to the corrals and get Whitey and Frank while I'm strapping on my guns. Oh, hustle. You going to fight? Stranger made me get into this. But now that he did, I'm in it all the way. Then, then I'll fight, too. What? You can't stop me. If it's a fight, I'm going to be right at your side. Tonto, uh-huh. into the saddle quick. Buck Shannon's leading his trail herd toward Ben Healy's range. They'll be fighting and Ben needs help. What we do? We're riding for the Circle J and Tom Jackson's crew. Come uh, on. Uh, get him up, Scout. Come on, old fellow. Hurry, Silver. Hurry. The desperate race across country began. Urged to their greatest speed, Silver and Scouts burned the ground beneath their hooves. Mile after mile slipped by until at last the buildings of the Circle J came into sight. Tom Jackson was standing in front of the ranch house. Jackson! Pull up, Tonto. Uh, oh, oh, hello, oh, 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 boy. Oh, oh. Jackson, get your crew together. Shannon's on his way to force his trail herd across Ben's range. Call your man and give Ben a hand. Shannon's asking for a fight now? Right. But I, I can't fight him. You can't? My men are gone. I've sent almost all with, with my trail herd. Ben Healy has to have help. Shannon's on his way to force his trail herd across Healy's land at this minute. But I... Who are these guys? Clint. They say Shannon's heading for Ben's place. What? And unless something's done at once, Shannon will get through. Don't think for a second Ben will oppose him the next time. If he gets through this time, everything depends on what happens now. Pa, what can we do? Aye, aye. Oh, one moment. Huh? Jackson, you just completed your roundup. The cattle you didn't send out shouldn't have the chance to do much drifting since they were turned back on the range. What do you mean? Ben will attempt to cut off Shannon at the mouth of Green Valley. What? Uh, uh... Oh, wait. Shannon will have to take his stand just inside the valley. And I've been noticing your range. The hills here come close together and lead into the valley just as wing gates lead into a cattle chute. Yeah, that's right. We're rounding up the rest of your cattle and heading them for that valley. Didn't Pa tell you our crew isn't here? We won't need it. Huh? The wind's in the right direction. We'll use fire to get those steers moving. Fire? We'll fire the grass and it'll force the cattle ahead of it. Hurry, get to the saddle and follow me. Meanwhile, Ben Healy and his small force were preparing to meet Shannon's attack. They're coming now. Why do you and Frank keep behind them rocks like I told you? When they get in range, blaze away and let them have it. Judy? Yes, Father? You're alone because I didn't have the time to argue with you. But if you don't keep undercover every second, I'll whop you like I used to. Now get down. There'll be lead flying in no time. <laughs> Buck Shannon rode point for his herd as it trailed down Green Valley. And as they neared the boundary of the rocking age, his men spurred forward to ride at his side. Suddenly they heard the signal they'd been expecting, the sharp crack of a rifle. 
Boys, that's it. Pull up. Whoa, 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 whoa. Get out of the saddle. Find cover. Men, his men will spread behind them rocks. And I give the word, we all rush them at once. All right. Start firing. All right, boys. Get up. From the sound of their firing, Buck located the position of Ben's crew and was just about to give the signal to attack when a shout was heard in the distance. What's that? Maybe it's help for Ben, boss. Yeah? Well, it is. We can take care of them, too. Can't be many of them. Spur, they're coming from behind us. Take a couple of the men and go over there. Boss, listen. Huh? Well, I'll be. What? That sounds like a stampede. But it can't be. It is. Look, they're coming down the valley, heading straight for us. Where'd them critters come from? How was Jackson able to round them up without no men? I smell smoke. It's a prairie fire. That's what done it. Them critters are running ahead of a fire. Well, I'll be hugged. The fire. Come on. We've got to make a run for it. They can't reach here to burn out on that lava. But that ain't going to stop them steers. Look at our own. They're beginning the mill. They're going to join in. We'll get trampled of our own herd. Run for it. Come on. Hey, come back. You can't reach the horses. Let the fool go. Come on. we got to find a place they can't get at us. Come on, boys. I didn't know whether we were going to get here in time or not. Oh, you did. Ben, what's happened to Shannon? Where's his man? <laughs> you ought to know that. Scattered from here to Kansas, I reckon. You should have seen them hightail. I golly, which one of you thought of that stunt of stampeding cattle at him? You, Jackson? It was the mash man. Was it? By thunder, You Mr. won't be bothered again, Ben. Shannon's crew won't even return to get their wages. We gave them a start, and they'll keep going. <laughs> I'll say they will, but I... Ready, wanted... Tonto? Uh, uh, but listen... Come on, Tonto, let's go. Hey! Police! Hey, gosh, Ben. What's the matter with those fellows? They wouldn't even wait to be thanked. Just heard is a copyrighted feature of the Lone Ranger Incorporated. <laughs> <laughs>